Prison is a tough concept to consider. A lot of convicted criminals are put in one enclosed area, making it seem like anything could happen. The incarcerated person has little to do, eats barely enough, and is locked up in a tiny cell. There's not much wonder why these disputes occur when prisoners know that they're better off doing something to hurt the other prisoner. But since ordinary prisoners don't have access to a lot of dangerous weapons, they get creative and use whatever they can find. Here's the top 20 most lethal prison weapons. Number 20. Catapult. This is another one from Wolfenbüttel Prison in Germany, where they are clearly incarcerating their most ingenious criminals. This is a wrist rocket seized by guards in 1991. It was made by an inmate in the metal workshop of the prison. It could be used to fire letters over the fence, into the outside world, or fire deadly projectiles that are the prisoners. When it was confiscated, the inmate who made it said it wasn't a catapult, it was a piece of abstract art entitled Dachshund. Number 19. Knuckle Duster. This monstrosity is another Wolfenbüttel prison, special, Honestly, what is going on in that place? It's a knuckle duster made from a metal wood file, presumably stolen from the prison workshop. Its coarse sharp teeth were normally used to shape wood, but this inmate had managed to curl the metal into a round circle and tied padding on with strings so he could grip it. Presumably the next thing it would shape would be another prisoner's face, and not in a nice way either. Luckily, it was confiscated before it was used. Number 18. Prison Grill. Another entry from Germany. This was found by a guard in Ludwig Bird Prison back in the 1980s. It's a homemade electric grill made from the components of a broken heater, some tin foil, and some electric wire. It's possible that the prisoner in question just wanted to make some toast in his cell, but I'd sleep with one eye open if my psychopathic cellmates was using one of these late at night. Number 17. Crossbow. Yes, you heard me right. This is a prison-made crossbow discovered by guards at Stony Mountain Institution in Canada in 1988. It was made out of 10 toothbrushes bits of a cigarette lighter, aluminum food tongs, and part of a coke hanger. The arrows were made out of matches, tightly rolled paper, and masking tape foil and bits of electric wire. When the guards confiscated the crossbow thankfully, before it could be used, they tested it. They found it could shoot accurately up to 40 feet. Pretty impressive. It's now in a museum. Number 16. Dummy Submachine Gun While this weapon isn't actually a working submachine gun, it certainly looks the part. If I was a prison guard, having this pointed at my head in a darkened room, I'd probably do what I was told. This dummy gun was found by Gords in 1994 in Wolfenbüttel Prison, Germany. After they received a tip-off that an escape was being planned, it's made from a grease injector, a piece of wood, and a rubber sleeve, all stuck together with black tape. Not only is this tool great for prisoners to intimidate others, especially when planning attacks, the side benefits is it carries a much smaller punishment than carrying something that actually works. Number 15. Double-edged blade. This slab of pure evil is a piece of wood with razor blades stuck into it. Five large ones on one side, six smaller ones on the other. It's wrapped up in strong tape to hold it together and a handle was stuck onto it. I can only imagine the damage this thing could cause. If you are wondering where the prisoner found the razors, the large ones were safety razors used for shaving. The smaller ones were used from pencil sharpeners. In prisons today, prisoners use special razors that are hard to break and are bright orange so difficult to hide. But never underestimate criminals with time on their hands and violence on their minds. Number 14. Mace. This homemade mace was found hidden in the metal workshop of Santa Fu Prison near Hamburg in Germany. It was made by welding nails to a metal pole, although it could be used as a deadly weapon. It was thought that it was going to be used during an escape attempt. It could be used to destroy the barbed wire on the top of the prison walls before the wannabe fugitive would climb over. Number 13. Bent Post Gun. Here's a weapon that actually works and was actually used. This gun was made out of iron bent posts, and the charge on top of the gun was made out of match heads coupled with lead pilled from the prison curtain tapes, the ignition came from a broken light bulb filament and two AA batteries. It could fire whatever someone put in the barrel, such as bolts or stone. In 1984, two inmates took a guard hostage and fired their homemade gun. Breaking a sheet of bulletproof glass, they ran into a waiting car and escaped. Number 12. Glass Blade. This may look like something out of Game of Thrones but it's just an ordinary prison made glass dagger. It's made out of a long piece of tough reinforced glass, terrifically strong, taken from a broken window pane. The prisoner had filed it into a spike and used tape to fashion a handle that he could grip. It could then be used as a very effective stabbing device. 
Number 11. Moten Chocolate One thing you'd imagine you can give to prisoners without any fear is a lovely bar of chocolate. However, you'd be wrong. Prisoners have been known to get a chocolate bar with caramel in it, melt it down on a hot plate, then fling it into the face of another prisoner. Not only is chocolate and caramel burning hot, it's also very hard to remove from your face once it hardens. It would cause serious facial damage to anyone unlucky enough to be on the receiving end. Number 10. Razor Blade Comb This hair-raising weapon was confiscated from a maximum security jail in New Jersey in the 1980s. Prisoners in these special prisons don't have much in the way of possessions, but they do have combs for their hair laces for their shoes and razors for shaving. Here's a comb with four of the tines replaced by razor blades held in place with shoelaces and copper wire. Something tells me it wouldn't be used as a hairstyling device anymore. Number 9. Bunk Bed Spear This one was found in San Quentin, one of the most notorious prisons in the world located just north of San Francisco. In 1985, three prisoners fashioned a spear in their cells. They managed to take a piece of steel out of their bunk bed using the clip from a paper binder. They sharpened it down to a deadly point and attached it to a pole made of rolled up newspapers and tied it all together with clothing. By listening to the amount of steps a god took after entering their wing of the prison, they could calculate where he was and whether he was in range of their spirit without even seeing him. Tragically, Surgeon Howell Birchfield was stabbed through the heart with this spear. All three inmates were convicted of murder and one was sentenced to death. Number 8. Paper Blade Here's proof that prisoners can make a weapon out of just about anything. This is a paper sheet made from 25 pages of the National Geographic, rolled up tightly, then rubbed with soap and salt to make them harder. It's able to pierce skin like a metal blade and could easily be disposed of by flushing it down the toilet. In fact, prisoners have also made a similar sheet out of toilet paper through the old technique of paper mesh, how resourceful. Number 7. Double-Barreled Pistol this is a homemade pistol found in the cell of two prisoners in Germany. It's crude to say the least. Two metal tubes welded together in the metal workshop, with another piece of metal stuck on the bottom as a grip. The shooter would fill the barrel with match heads and use metal pellets as bullets. The gun was never used, which is probably for the best, although it could potentially cause damage at close range. Its rough construction meant it was probably more dangerous to the shooter than the target. Number 6. Coat Hanger Saw This simply made saw would easily be able to cut through somebody's skin and flesh with a bit of effort and time. Something prisoners have plenty of it would cut through iron bars too. It was made from a wooden coat hanger and a hacksaw blade stolen from the workshop. The blade is screwed into the wood and ready to go. Rather worryingly, this contraption was confiscated from the mental hospital wing of a German prison. Number 5. Spiked Glove this may look like an ordinary gardening glove, but rather than protecting you from sharp objects, this glove is full of sharp objects. A prisoner on gardening duty stole a small glove and a larger rougher gardening glove. He sewed the smaller one inside the larger one. He also sewed specially sharpened carpet tacks into the space between the two gloves. It wouldn't hurt when he put the gloves on, but if he punched anyone with it, it would drive nine razor blades into the victim's face. Yikes! Number 4. Water bomb. You probably played with water bombs when you were a child, right? All good, clean, fun. Water bombs in San Quentin, though, are a different matter. In 2011, a prisoner dropped a tied up grocery bag full of water from the fifth floor onto the head of another inmate on the ground floor. The grocery bag, which was strong enough not to pop on impact, could hold up to 20 liters of water and weigh up to 44 pounds. That's the same weight as two and a half heavy bowling ball. Ouch. The victim was hospitalized with critical injuries, luckily not to be killed. Number 3. Razor Whip We're back in Germany, and here's a whip with razors on it. In 1996, a drug addict in Fullsbuttle Prison had his cell searched after a violent incident. They found this, a wooden post with a shoelace attached to the top with some safety razors tied up and down the shoelace. Luckily this weapon was found before it could be used. Otherwise, a bloodbath of horrific proportions would have ensued. Number 2. Cross Shiv Homemade prison knives, or shives, are often carved out of everyday objects like toothbrushes, but often they're difficult to hide. In 1994, in Wolf and Buttle Prison, a craze started amongst the prisoners for making crucifixes out of wood in the prison workshop. 
The guards thinking their inmates had found religion were happy to let this continue. That is until they discovered a catch of crucifix shives with sharp metal points hidden under the wood at the long end of the crucifixes. I'd imagine there were rather cross after that. Number 1. Radio Bomb Finally, a story of revenge and a crazy prison weapon. South Carolina serial killer Donald Pee Wee Gaskins was serving a life sentence after being found guilty of a string of murders. In 1982, he was contacted by a man called Tony Simo who asked Gaskins if he would kill another inmate in his prison. This prisoner, Rudolf Tyner, was in prison for murdering Simo's mother and stepfather. Remarkably, Gaskins agreed. He poisoned Tyner's food, but that didn't do the job. Somehow Gaskins obtained some C4 explosive, which he hid inside a radio set. He gave Tyner the radio and told him to put the radio to his head at night and they'd have a conversation, like a walkie-talkie. Tyner did exactly this and Gaskins detonated the C4 remotely from his bed, killing Tyner instantly. Gaskins received the death penalty for this particular crime. Which one did you think was the smartest or just the most brutal? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and make sure to like it and subscribe to Brain Crane, click that bell icon to never miss another video. Thanks for watching.